I bet you you have never heard of the term rubber band support before. What is that? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Um, I'm going to talk to you about rubber band supports. Uh, that is going to be used here on this rocket kit called the Hellerock. Uh, basically what it does is it, support, it supports the rubber band that's put on the blade and keeps it away from the, the rocket tube. Um, here is the hook that it gets attached to and this little channel right here is the rubber band support and the rubber band lays into that channel just like that and it keeps it from shifting from one side to the other. Now these rubber band supports are made from launch lugs and that's what we have here and I only need about a third of the length of the launch lug so I'm going to cut some of these again as we did before There's one, and I need two little short pieces about the same length. And there's extra launch lug here uh, in case you need it. Okay, and as before, go ahead and square up those edges, knock off any of the burr. One, there's two. Now we want to cut these in half and it's, it's easier to stand them up, find the middle, and then do in a sawing action, just slice down the middle. Just like that. Now if you cut it crooked, um, don't worry too much. Um, you have extras. You can always try it again. I need three pieces and this is cutting this one right here. You can see what I'm doing is I, I hold it on the side so that my, my finger isn't anywhere near that blade. Yeah, that one wasn't as good. So I'm not going to use that piece. You can see this one right here. I'm going to recut it. There we go. Now it's more or less like a little channel. Now those get glued onto the tops of the dihedral supports, just like that. And I use thick super glue. And you don't want it to hang over the edge here on this side. On the back side, it's fine. It can hang over the edge. Just, um, you just don't want it hanging over the front because when the dihedral support comes up like that, you don't want it interfering or touching the tube. Um, actually, I got a lot of room to play with here, so you can ignore that. Uh, but, but try to keep it um, off of that edge. Make them look consistent. Hold it there for just a second until the super glue grabs. Just like that. Okay. Next, uh, we want to cut some little rubber band hooks, they're called, um, and that's where the um, music wire comes in. Um, and you're going to need a pair of pliers. Now, there's, there's several different types of pliers. This is called a needle nose pliers. Um, this one is similar, um, except that the edges are round. 
and it, they're designed specifically so you can take wire and roll it. Um, you can do the same thing with these. Um, they're just going to look a little bit square compared to nice round um, hooks like you see here in the instructions right here. So in the instructions, and this is about, about full size, the full size pattern that you want to make. Um, if you don't have have the pliers with the round edges, it's just going to look a little square. It will work just fine, so don't worry. Um, I'll, I'll do one in each, one of each. If you're doing it um, with the pliers, with the, the squared off pliers, put it at the very tip, squeeze really hard, and then just roll it downwards. And you can see it just, I don't know if you can see it, I'll put it against the back of my hand. Just like that. And then uh, we want to bend it um, back away from the, 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 the hook edge. So it, it curls this way. So I'm going to bend this part back this way. I want to make it nice and square, just like that. And then I want to cut it off. Now, if you have diagonal pliers, they have a little cutter right in the middle. I can, I can put it just like that and then squeeze really hard. And when you squeeze, grab this with your fingers because when it snaps, it's going to go shooting across the room. And if you're holding it like this, then it doesn't go shooting. So that's what we want to make. So here's with the round ones. Again, same technique. Squeeze really hard and then just roll. And I can also roll this way. And then you have to cut it again. Now, if you don't have these, you can use a diagonal cutters. Diagonal cutter looks like this. It's the same thing. You just, you just put it in there and cut. So here's the two. You can see the difference. This one's a little little sharper on the corners, but it's going to work just fine. And I already started this one. I'll just cut it. You do have extra wire here, so don't fret too much if you don't get it perfect the first time. Okay, so now these are going to hold the rubber bands, and they're going to get punched through the balsa wood blade right below the uh, dihedral support. So you're going to use the end just like a little drill and you're going to twist it back and forth. Since the balsa is soft, it should go through pretty easily. When you're poking through, you know, don't put your finger on the back side or you'll poke your finger. So I have mine just below the where it's going to come through. There we go. So now I'm through see right here. So now I want to push it all the way through and then rotate it up against the, uh, the blade so it, it goes towards the rocket like that. And that's going to leave me the hook on this side that goes away from the dihedral support. So now on this, on the, on the bottom side, you're going to take some glue and you're going to glue that you're going to put a fillet on it. And I'm going to take my super glue accelerator and just tack it down just like that. And then you want to do that for the other two hooks as well. So I'll do one more and then uh, we'll see you in the next video. So while I'm doing that, my name is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Over off to my, this side, are some videos that I think you'll enjoy while I'm working on this.